How does the council define homophobic bullying? Dempshire County Council has an anti-bullying strategy which covers all aspects of bullying. Um, all schools have their own policies which again covers all aspects of bullying including this aspect. Um, the policies can be found on our website so they're in the public domain for everybody to read and understand and they're compliant currently with Welsh Government guidance. Okay so I understand there's policies and procedures in place to stop bullying and homophobic bullying but I still have experienced and been informed of cases still happening. What's your opinion on this? Okay, I think that's a really, really good point and a really good challenge that you're putting back to me. It's really important that we have policies and procedures in place because it's really important that people know what's expected of them. But the sad fact of the matter is that although we've got these policies, not everybody abides by them, not everybody knows about them. So there are a number of things that we have to do. One is we have to raise awareness to make sure that everybody understands what is expected of them. The other thing that we have to do is to encourage young people and adults in our communities and in our school environments that people should be treated with courtesy and respect at all times on the basis of their own individual needs and their individuality. And anything less is not acceptable. That's encouraging. What are you doing to ensure that teachers are aware of their responsibilities? So what we're doing as um, a, an educational authority is we're making sure that teachers understand the diverse range of issues as much as we possibly can so they have the right knowledge, the right information and the right training to enable them to help and support and to intervene where issues occur. It's really important that teachers don't just rely on themselves to provide this information and that they actually use community expertise and use community experience to help them get the right knowledge and as a result of that we work with organisations beyond education who have more community-based experience to help us develop our training programmes. But it's really important for us to understand this isn't just about training, this isn't about going on a course, this is about understanding our personal responsibility to support learners in the classroom in a caring and nurturing environment. You have just told us about the approach to education. How do you think your approach can be strengthened? This isn't just about education, is it? This is an issue um, for all of us. And it's really important that we work with our partners, such as health, police, children's services, people within our communities, um, charities who operate within our communities, voluntary groups, youth services within our communities, and actually forums such as this because only by working together collegiately are we going to actually tackle the issue of bullying and work together to understand the needs and the challenges of young people. So I don't think that this is a challenge or an issue that we can actually tackle in isolation because what we know in schools is what happens outside of school and what happens in community or home environment can really seriously impact what's going on in schools and equally what's going on in schools can impact people in their communities. So I'm really grateful to you as a forum for raising this issue and raising awareness and presenting these challenges to me um, because We've got to get the message out there that it's only by working together and being on the same page that we're actually going to strengthen our approaches and make the improvements that we need for children and young people. Depending on school environment, um, some schools, in fairness, will be more aware than others. And in some of our schools, um, perhaps the journey that they've travelled is a little bit more advanced. So it's really, really important that we understand where best practice is and where children and young people are really well supported and we share that across all of our schools so that we have a consistently good and supported offer for everybody.
Ty15 from Llangollen wants to know if any schools in Denbighshire have unisex changing rooms or toilets, or should they consider getting unisex changing rooms or toilets installed? Yeah, I think that's a really good question, isn't it? And I think that's quite a difficult one because although the intention might be there to break down these barriers that have traditionally existed, unfortunately, if you look at some of our school buildings, they were built an awfully long time ago. Um, and actually, we don't have the ability or the capacity to change them significantly in that way. What we are doing is as we build new schools, as we significantly remodel schools, we're really thinking about how the school environment should meet the needs of individual learners and groups of learners. So for example, in our new school builds in Rill, um, the new build in Rill at Rill High School does have unisex toilet provision. Now, as we move into um, the next round of thinking about how we improve our school buildings, something that we will be thinking about, how the school environment best meets the, the needs of individual and groups of learners. But I will be totally honest with you and admit that this is a challenge. Alice 14 from Rill is wondering, is there a level of tolerance and is LGBTQ plus bullying dealt with differently than other forms of bullying? All bullying should be dealt with the same level of intolerance and all young people should be educated to behave in a courteous, respectful and tolerant way. So we have um, a zero tolerance policy but we appreciate that that is aspirational because we have an awful lot of work to do on encouraging young people um, to behave within the boundaries of that policy and that expectation. I'd just like to say thank you to you all for the work that you've put into making this video and thank you very, very much for raising these issues with me. I've really enjoyed meeting you and I've really enjoyed listening to your challenges and a reassurance from me that in Denbyshire County Council, Georgian the young people really, really do matter and we're really interested to hear your views and do everything that we possibly can to make things better so that all children and young people feel that they're included and supported appropriately and have the best experience that they possibly can.